Hello and welcome to Clever Woodworks. For those of us without a planer thicknesser, it is still possible to flatten the board, provided that you have a router and a couple other items. I have two rails that are secured onto the workbench with a couple of screws. And they are of the same height as well. We have a router that is secured into a piece of MDF and I have a chunk of 2x4 on there as a stop and for the router bit I have a 2 inch flat end mill bit on it. Other bits that you're going to need is some tape I got masking tape here, dust mask, of course, some hearing protection, and the other trusty number two pencil. As this board is cupped, we're going to put some masking tape on both edges to help secure it to the workbench. Masking tape worked for the first board, however, I had to switch to duct tape as the work surface just got too dusty. You can use a hot glue gun to secure your workpiece down, but as I'm using a cheap ply, it just removes too much of the work surface than I care for. Now as the deeper end of the cupping is on this side right here, as it slopes off more that way, that is where we're going to initially place our router. And much like a sanding operation, the pencil is just going to tell us where we need to go. Now that everything's secured, I'm going to set the height of the router by simply pushing it over all the way over to the edge that I can. And where the blade will still come in contact with the board. Push it down only on the router itself, not on the board, so you don't want any deflection. Now make sure that the router is moved away from the board so that way when you do turn on the machine it's not going to throw anything out. After you completed your first pass, check and remark for any additional passes that you may have to do. Now that the board is flipped over, the low point is in the center of the board and this is where we'll set the router bit to. Just as previous, mark the area with a pencil and then move in with the router to surface the area. When you're done with both sides of the board, double check to make sure that everything's nice and square. And for those of you who are faint of heart about cleaning and dusting, this operation will bring loads of chips and dust. So just because your machine's off doesn't mean that the air is okay to breathe. If you like what you see, please share and subscribe. Thank you.